Good morning guys and welcome back to another bloody beautiful Thursday morning here in Fiji. Phenomenal weather, check this out. Glassy conditions, blue sky, sun shining. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. Uh, today I'm actually going fishing with a friend of mine uh, from up one of the northern villages on this island. So we're going to take the GoPros, we're going to film a bit of everything that we're doing today. But the funny thing happened to me yesterday. To get ready for today, I put the boat in yesterday and, and you know, just so I could save a bit of time this morning. And it was the same deal. The conditions were like this, so I thought, stuff it. Just gra quickly grabbed a, a one fishing rod and jumped in and I went out. I thought, you know, flick a few lures around for 15 minutes or so. And it was just full on that there was so much happening. Like, I wasn't catching heaps, but it was just promising. You know what I mean? There was always fish chasing and a few hits that I was getting. So um, I did take the GoPro with me, um, but I didn't have a lot of battery. So I didn't film heaps of stuff, but I did film a bit. So I'm going to share that with you now uh, in this, I guess, short little video that wasn't really planned. Um, and then today I'm going to be going out and doing the real deal so hopefully you enjoy this one it was so much fun and unexpected uh, and i'll see you real soon on the video that i'm filming today with my friend john have a good one guys let's have a crack and see if anyone's home Well, that didn't quite work. Only small though. Whoa, came for another shot. Something small going at it. Oh, not so small, maybe. Man, three or four going at that. Where's Mama and Papa? There. <laughs> oh, no. It's definitely feeding time. Come on. So yeah, this spot just had heaps going on, like heaps of little ones and obviously missed that hook up on the big one, like hooked for a little bit and then pulled and it just shut down completely. And that's pretty common with GTs. If you drop one or even if it's packed in an area and you land one, um, often after you've done that, like the commotion of all that happening sort of shuts it down. Um, at least on these inner reefs anyway. On the outer reefs, it's a bit different. Um, but yeah, I only came out, literally I put the boat in today for a big fishing mission tomorrow uh, with one of my mates, but um, yeah. I didn't bring hardly anything with me. I just bought, I literally just chucked that popping rod in and thought I'll just go throw a couple of poppers just on the reef out the front. Um, but now, after that happened, I am gonna actually just check out another spot just over here. Um, and yeah, see if we can hook up a big one. It's been so long since I've caught a nice big GT uh, in close. Uh, you know, obviously on the outer reefs are there 365, but um, yeah, the, the cyclone activity that we had here sort of scattered the fish in close. Um, so hopefully they're, they're back. Well, by the, sound, by the look of today, they're back, all right? I love it when you've got like two or three fish fighting for the one lure. It just gets like chaotic and I don't know, my adrenaline gets pumping. It's, it's awesome. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna throw a few more and I'm taking you with me. All right, so let's throw a couple of stick baits around here. See if we can hook up on a Spanish Mac or something like that. Okay, we officially have a bust up. <laughs> All right, let's head over there. 
I could hear something, but I didn't know where it was coming from. Surely there's something here. Ah, Big Mackie. Damn. Oh my God, look at the size of them. They're torpedoes, these things. All right, I'm gonna quickly change up lure because they should be hitting that. Let's see how they like that one. Ah, oh, look how many there are, come on. Grab it, grab it, grab it. That's a big one. You know what? I reckon I'm gonna put a smaller lure on. So a small little white sinking stick bait. Had to back the drag off a fair bit, so hopefully these hooks hold. Feels weird casting a little lure like that with uh, a big heavy rod. That's not what I wanted. You got a friend with you too, trying to steal the fish, the lure out your mouth. Man, Trevally goes so hard for little fish. Beautiful little GT, whoop. There he goes. All right, let's get back, see if we can get one of those Spanish Mackies. All righty, let's do it. Might just do a, I'll let that sink a little bit and then I'll do a really fast retrieve. See what happens. Whoop, turtle. You got any Spanish Max swimming around you? Oh, there we go. Ah, that's the problem. L little lure, little hooks. Would not surprise me if that's just straight in the hooks. Let's have a look. Yeah. Ah. What I gotta do is beef these hooks up. Anyway, let's keep having a bit of fun. Back the drag off a bit. Oh, did you see that flash? Big Mackie just flashed past, missed it. Here he comes, look, there he goes. Ah, how did you miss that? Or maybe, maybe he just aborted the bite. They're smart, man. Maybe it was like last second, something didn't seem right, so he's pulled out. Changed up again, chucked this uh, little green sinking stick bait on. 
a little bit beefier hooks than that white one because that was just going to end in tears. This blue floating stick bait, it's the one I've had the most sort of inquiries on. Except for the little red and white thing, but that was never going to hook up properly. Not like that. Oh no! Ha! Ah! Can you believe it? There goes the lure. Mackies, man. Razor sharp teeth. Look at that. Snipped off. Oh, my lure's floating there. Wicked. I'll get that back. We'll get another shot at it. Look at that, snipped me right there. So let's retire and throw a couple more. Alright, we're back, back in business, retire. Let's go. I don't even know how much battery I've got left on this, this GoPro. I did not plan to come out and do this. I was just gonna have a couple of little pops just in the reef in front of our house. So this has been awesome. But let's hope I can catch one and actually film it. Gotcha! Whoa! Had to happen sooner or later. These hooks hold. I think he's a pretty good size. Oh no, is it a GT? It didn't run like a GT. But I reckon it's a GT. Oh no, it's a good Mac. Good Mackie. <sighs> Love this time of year just for food purposes. Over this way, brother. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, baby. You can see those teeth, like how they just snip straight through a leader. Like they are literally like a razor blade those teeth well as i said the plan 
the plan wasn't to come out and uh, and have a big fishing session. The plan was just to throw a couple of poppers on the reef in out front of our house. I got like two percent left on the GoPro, and it was it was pretty much action from the second I I came out, which made it just so much fun. That's it, like. The best thing about the ocean, fishing, spear fishing, snorkeling, you just, you never ever know what's gonna happen. And so, to come out and get this big boy, um, man, what a bonus, what a bonus. But the real video is happening tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm gonna head back, I'll fill it up this guy, we'll uh, chuck some in the freezer, we'll eat some tonight, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, which, as I said, I'm filming tomorrow, so cannot wait. Have a good one, guys.